Hello. Hey, where are we at? In a parking garage. <laughs> we are at Universal or a Universal Orlando Resort. Finally back, baby. Yes. After um, years and years, I'm finally back. So I'm so excited. We just parked. Um, so far, so good. So far, so freaking good. We didn't have to pay for parking, even though we are annual pass holders. The first time you have to pay for parking kind of sucks because it's $26. It is what it is. Let's go do this. All right. We're officially back. Haven't been here in such a long time. There's a special place in my heart for Universal. As much as I love Disney, I love this resort too. I love these theme parks as well. I don't know, man. This is such a good feeling. I miss City Walk. I miss the roller coasters. Ah, I'm so ready. We're heading to Islands of Adventure first. This makes me feel like I'm back in high school and middle school and like family vacations with my mom and my aunts and my grandma and my grandpa. Oh man. This is a great feeling. So we are finally here. We're back, baby. So I know I've said it a million times, but we're back. We're back. Special place in my heart. I love this place. You know where we're heading to first? Okay. Mava, baby. We gotta do Spider-Man. We gotta do Spider-Man. 100% gotta do that Spider-Man ride. So we're here at Auntie Anne's Pretzels real quick to pick up something. We didn't get any food before we came to the park, so we gotta get some food in our stomach. We're a little hungry. Yeah, very much hungry. So this is the menu at Auntie Anne's. We wound up getting the cinnamon sugar pretzel nuggets. This is the cinnamon sugar pretzel nuggets from the Auntie Anne's. They're pretty tasty. They're warm on a cold day. They're pretty good. So with some food in our stomach, we are getting ready to go on the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. Haven't been to this ride in years. Let's get it. The line is definitely COVID prepared. You're really good job, Universal. There's not much else to say so far. I mean, I have really good feelings about what's going on, but they've been pretty good with the social distancing. They've been pretty good with the whole COVID like experience that we're having to deal with right now. So I feel safe. I feel safe here. It's a long line. We've been in line for an hour and three minutes already. Yeah. A little crazy. But the thing is, they have express passes going on. I am not looking forward to the day when Disney brings back fast passes. Not looking forward to that day. So I have one thing to say about the Spider-Man ride. Excuse the corniness, but amazing. The animation updates were awesome. I'm a little nostalgic for the old animation because I really like the 90s animated Spider-Man look, but the new update fits so well. Fits so well. I liked everything about it. And there's two cameos in it as well. Two cameos. If you see them, let me know. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but let me know if you know who it is. This is one of my favorite rides here at Universal Studios. I don't know, Adventure, the Dudley do ride Rips All Falls. Such a fun ride. It's such a fast ride. A lot of animatronics, a lot of water, a lot of getting wet. Last time I was here, Skull Island Ring of Kong wasn't even here. Super excited for when I could actually be able to ride this ride. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but it's definitely a property that I'm in love with. Another thing that I've never seen before is the Raptor Encounter. We have a little bit more time whenever we come back again. I'm definitely gonna have to give it a try. We actually just got a um, virtual queue for Hagrid's so we definitely want to get a hold of that and we definitely want to be closer to the Harry Potter land so we don't have to rush to get there and to get to the line. Before we get on the Hagrid roller coaster over in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, we decided to stop to grab a bite to eat at the Fire Eaters Grill. It smells really good over here. The menu looks pretty good. I'm actually a little impressed with it. Let's see what it actually tastes like. Just a quick look at the menu here at Fire Eaters Grill. 
It all sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound bad at all. Carlos is going to try this chicken stingers. And I think I'm going to get the yarrow. I think that's what I'm going to wind up getting. Sounds pretty good to me. So here's our food we got from Fire Eater's Grill. I got the yarrow. Just the traditional one, not the falafel. No fries. And then Carla got the chicken stingers. Those smell good. Those smell really good. Carla's gonna give her chicken stingers a try. Chicken stingers, not fingers, guys. They're okay. It's just chicken tenders with buffalo sauce on them. I'm gonna try this gyro. Gyro, gyro, gyro. Good? I like it. I like it, it's good. It's really good, I really like it. A really nice little quick, like, little lunch meal. Really good. I don't know what type of meat this is. The veggies are all fresh and crisp. Really crisp veggies. And that sauce, I'm assuming is a ziki sauce. It's really good. The pita bread's really nice. It's good, I really like it. So food at Fire Eater Grill is pretty yummy. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> so we're in line for the Hagrid Roller Coaster. Yeah. So, really excited about this. Been seeing non-stop great things about this ride. Really excited that we were able to get into a virtual queue for it. The Haggard Roller Coaster. Ah! It's so good. It's so good. I can't express how good that ride is. It was super good. Super, it, was, it had fast paces. It had slower paces. There's a lot of surprises in there that I never saw. There's a lot of animatronics. I will say that. There's animatronics on this ride and I didn't expect it. I didn't expect how many there was. I didn't expect which animatronics I saw. <laughs> it was just oh, really? overall solid ride. It had some rev up moments where it made you feel like you were actually on the motorcycle. Just overall such a solid, solid ride. I So unfortunately I do miss Dueling Dragons and uh, when they rebrand it for the Harry Potter world. but. I can honestly say the Hagrid's motorbike ride is awesome. This is so awesome. I, I can't I can't put it to words. I really can't. All I can say is, guys, you got to come out and try this ride. We were so lucky to get the virtual queue. I can't talk about how much we were lucky to get the virtual queue, but I'm so happy we did. I'm so happy we got to have this experience. It was my first time back at Universal Studio in years. Such a great opportunity. I do kind of want to talk about how busy Hogsmeade is. That whole area is claustrophobic. It's very crazy and super busy. Definitely very hard to socially distance in there. I felt a little uneasy being in there, just a little bit, but it's fine though, because I understand why I'm at a theme park, so I'm not, I'm not upset about it. But for those of you who are very like uneasy right now about being out during the pandemic, it might not be an area for you to visit right now, at least in this park. It's pretty crazy, at least on the weekends for sure. Maybe try it earlier, like earlier in the week on a slower day but definitely not during the weekends. Just a little heads up. So, we decided to do Kong Skull Island before we head out. I think this is the last thing we're gonna do before we leave the park today. We're still gonna ride home. We gotta drive home. Two hour drive, we say it all the time. Both of us haven't done this ride yet, right? So definitely gonna be another first time experience for both of us. Such a coolly themed outside queue area. Let's just give it a go. The theming for this line is really cool. Very dark, very spooky. Getting ready to get on the ride. It wasn't that long of a queue wait time. Pretty well themed the queue as well. I do want to say this though. If you have little children and you're not too too sure about what's inside the ride queue, it's a little bit more a little bit more generated towards adults. But yeah, definitely not something for little kids. Pretty cool animatronic just sitting right here. That's a pretty cool looking animatronic just sitting here. That is very nasty looking. It's a really cool animatronic sitting here. Rain a call on Skull Island. Um, not worth it for me. I am so glad that we only waited 35 minutes instead of 60 like the wait time said that's what they have posted but i actually timed it i wouldn't have been happy waiting there for an hour to me the only good thing about that ride is the theming especially the outside of it and the last animatronic that you see before you get off the ride if you've been on it you know what we're talking about 
but it's really good. It's a really good animatronic. It's very impressive. Yeah, it's very, it's impressive. very impressive. Other than that, it just didn't do it for me. Same. It was me. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed looking at some things. Yeah. But... Some really cool like design qualities. Like design liberties were taken, and I really liked it. But it was me. It was a me. I, right? I just feel like they could have done so much better with that ride. I know we talked about Hagrid's like really quickly when we got off the ride, but I want to talk about it right now, actually. I want to ride that ride five more times. I want to ride that <laughs> ride six more times. Aspects I love on that ride. If you're riding a motorcycle, right? When it goes off, it revs up like a motorcycle. It makes it feel like you're actually riding a motorcycle. It does. It really does. There's great animatronics on the ride. The theming of the queue was great as well. I, that, everything was nice on that ride. Yeah. Definitely going to be a return ride. We can, we can, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely a definitely a return ride. Definitely a reason to come back. I do miss you dueling dragons, but Haggard's Motors bike, you are a great addition. You are a great addition altogether. Yeah. Um, happy you got made. Getting ready to head out of Universal Orlando Resort, but we decided to stop here at Big Fire American Fair to actually get some dinner before we head home. Figured it'd be a smarter idea than grabbing fast food on the way home. Makes a little bit more sense. This is a new restaurant too, so might as well give it a try. So, like initial impressions for like ambience, it's pretty nice. It's got like some chill, like relaxing music. It's very, it kind of like a factory almost. But it sounds really good. So I instantly saw something called a bison burger. I'm probably gonna get that, but I'm gonna give this a menu a full try. We'll show you what's on the menu too, in case y'all are wondering. The music's a little loud, but of course you can hear me. So we have the menu here at Big Fire. Pretty good overall menu. Nothing really like crazy out of the ordinary, but there are some really, really good options. What I wound up getting was a signature bison burger. That sounds delicious, beyond good. And then Carla, she's not super hungry right now, but we definitely needed to pick something up to eat before we got in the car to drive home. So she got the skillet roasted mussels. She kept talking about them for a good five minutes before she just finally decided, hey, I'm gonna eat these for my entree. But yeah, this is the full menu for Big Fire. It's not, it's not that bad looking. I'm actually really excited for what we're about to eat. So guys, our food just hit the table, and I want to tell you, I am really impressed with this. I mean, on outside it looks like just a burger, but you're not sitting here smelling it with me, so. But dang, does it smell good. When he said fries, I thought it was going to be fries, but I got potato wedges. I actually like potato wedges more than fries. Really good looking, really good looking. I can't wait to try it. So this is actually an appetizer, and it's the mussels uh, on garlic butter. You got some lime over here some bread that i'm probably not going to eat but the presentation is really nice and it smells really good so i wasn't too hungry so i wanted to go with something small so that's why i went for this so went for something small she says well i mean really why you eat it small good So Mr. Burger guy over yeah, here. Yeah, so this is the bison burger. It has beer cheese, onions, and a, a some type of aioli on it. I got it medium. Got some pink. This is a little pink. That's solid. It's bison meat. So it's not cow meat. It's definitely good. I'm really, I really like it. The bun's nice and like pillowy. And the nice little stamp at the top. The meat's cooked really well, uh, lettuce is fresh, crispy. I don't really taste the beer cheese yet, but let me try and get another bite. There it is. That's good. So, that's a good burger. Over here they have an open face kitchen where you can see what all they're cooking. It's pretty cool looking. I like the way this place looks. It's got a very like nice modern feel. It smells good in here as well. I really like being able to see inside of a kitchen like this. It's really cool looking, guys. All right, Universal. It was fun. It was. It was really fun. It was a little overwhelming just because we haven't been here in so, so long. Yeah. Um, but 
I mean, for for it to be the first time back, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't terrible at we all. We had a good time. It was and super fun. And we got fun. to ride Hagrid, which I didn't think we were gonna be able to. Still feeling goosebumps from that ride. It was yeah. so good. It was amazing. It was such a good experience. It really such was. a good first time back experience. Dinner was great. Yeah, dinner was pretty decent. It was pretty decent. I can't. I don't have any complaints about it. No. Don't have any complaints about it at all. Really nice place. If y'all are in the City Walk area, definitely should get Big Fire a checkout. Yeah. But I think that's pretty much it. Not much else to say about it. Really fun day. But that's it, guys. All right. Catch you later. Bye.